I'm Ada and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for watching. Today I wanted to do a what is in my cloth diaper bag, but it's like a special needs edition. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna start with, oops, we're gonna start with the big compartment. All right. And this is not very organized, so. <laughs> But first thing I have is my wallet, which looks like this it is a Hearthstone wallet. And my husband got me this. We have matching wallets. <laughs> and then I just have the typical things in my wallet. So the next thing that I have in the diaper bag is this silicone food storage bag. And it has pretzels in it because both my children love pretzel sticks. Alright, so the next thing that I have in the diaper bag is this compression vest. It's my son's compression vest. His old occupational therapist recommended it for when he gets overwhelmed and stuff in public. So we just take this with us everywhere. Next thing that is in the diaper bag is this diaper pod. And in this diaper pod, we have some sensory type toys along with um, wrist leashes. We have these because Julian's a runner, so we have these wherever we go. Um, we have this little toy that he just likes. It's just kind of spiky, like that. And he just, you know, likes going like this with it. You know, it's just real flexible. Then we have his little, his little squishy ball. He likes this thing. <laughs> All right, so the next thing in the bag is these, um, <laughs> Are these kind of like toys that he can chew on. One is just a puzzle piece and the other one is this octopus looking thing. And he really likes this piece on this one. And then we have um, two of these little puzzle balls. He really like the, ch the children both like these. Um, and they're just little things where you just, you just, <laughs> take she, you just kind of take the ball and push it from one hole to another and match them into their color holes. And then the last things that we have in in the bag are these light up balls. I don't think this green one lights up anymore because they play with it so much, but they really like light up balls. So the, ne the next thing in the big compartment is I carry a pack of uh, silicone straws. They have like two different sizes, but they look like this and they're just you know, little silicone straws. So if we ever need a straw, we have straws. Let's see, the next thing in the big compartment is this wet bag and inside of the wet bag. Right, so right now, the two cloth trainers I have in the bag are the one from Nikki's diapers, and then I also have this one, which is from my co-op. That, and then this one I like because if he has a poop accident or we're out, I can just unsnap it, dump it in the toilet, and then, you know, not make a mess with that. And then I also carry, oops, also carry some cloth wipes with us. And I will show you guys in another video how we store those around the house. Because I actually have two different ways of storing them depending how I'm feeling that day. And then I have a smaller bag, which is where I keep my cloth pads at, just in case Mother Nature decides to call while we're out. And so I just keep them, you know, stored in there. Along with carrying extra pull-ups for him, I also carry a change of pants, some socks, a pair of panties for our daughter. Because you never know. Boogie wipes. I highly recommend these. If you've never tried these, you should totally try them because they're fantastic and totally worth every dollar that they cost. Um, and then I also carry like facial wipes just in case I need to wipe my face because I'm an oily faced freak. Then I have a receipt from a hotel in New Orleans. Um, let's see. Then I have from, I don't even know how long this has been in there, but this is a disposable pull up some tissues, some regular tissues. This cool thing is called a flint. And I think I got this when I started working in real estate just to carry in my bag. 
but it's just a little sticky roller and it just, you know, rolls up and down. Never know when you'll need a sticky roller. Let's see. Oh, look at this. I found the house key. <laughs> I literally, I'm not even kidding. I will show you guys when I pull out my keys. I literally had a house key remade. It's my house key. I literally had a house key remade because I could not find this one, but it's so cute. It has Yoda on it. And it has the Type R lanyard on it. But I could not find this for the longest time. I remembered I put it in the bag, but when I looked in there, I could not find it. So I gave up and we just went and got a new one cut. I'm so happy. And then I have more boogie wipes. <laughs> These boogie wipes, um, I think I got from my son's pediatrician because he was sick when we were in there and she gave me these last time. But they have coupons on them and they're still good. <laughs> and then um, we always, whatever books we get from Chick-fil-A, I usually just keep them in the diaper bag so that we can read them to them in the car or they can read them themselves. But we got this cute little one and then we got this cute little one that is currently in the diaper bag. We do switch them out because we have other books that are small books um, on our shelf that we like to put in there. These, I will have to link down below where I got these in case anyone is interested, but I need to put these back on my son's car seat after I wash them. But they are, they go on the, the car seat straps um, for if we get in an accident or anything that emergency personnel will know his name. And then they will also know that he has epilepsy and autism and he has limited speech, so he may not respond to verbal commands. And then my son's sunglasses because he gets very upset when the sun is in his eyes. Like I've had to literally cover up his eyes while we were walking because he doesn't like the sun going into his eyes. So have to carry sunglasses with us. Those are currently his favorite pair that his other grandma got him. All right, so I think, oh wait, no. Oh, then we have some kids Dramamine. This is um not really for the kids. It's actually for, it's for me, but this is all they had at the time. So, Dramamine, highly recommend. All right, so I keep extra syringes for my son's medicine in the diaper bag in case we have to give him his medicine while we're out. I don't have to worry about packing syringes. All right, so then I have this little pack of lubricant jelly in the bag. And we will get to why I have this in the bag in a minute, which I need to put that with that. All right, so that's... That is everything for the big pocket. Now we will move on to the next biggest pocket. There's not much in there. There's actually only two things in there. Um, and that is my son's Eddie pens. And it comes in this cute little case. I think I got this off of Amazon when he was in school because it lets you put I'm not going to show you the back um, because it does have our information stuff on it. But um, let me cover that up. Boop. But on the back, it gives you a little card that you can put your personal information on, like your house number, your name, his allergies, stuff like that. And then you can put a picture on the other side. Um, and then just his two EpiPens fit in there nicely. And then... What I liked about this is it's got this little carabiner so you can hook it to things if you need it to. And then it clearly says on there that it is an EpiPen. So it was good for when he was in school. But now we just store it in the front of his bag. And then this other one is his diastat medicine, which is what that lubricating jelly is for. It is for if we have to use the diastat. I'm not sure how it got out of this case, but we gonna put it back in there. Um, which there's more lubricating jelly in the case. There's actually three more in the case. <laughs> it's just his his diastat medicine. If he has a seizure that doesn't, or if he has a seizure that goes over five minutes, we have to give this to him, and it is a rectal injection type thing. Um, and actually, if your child has diastat, you can actually, um email the company, which I'll put that email below in the comment section. You can actually email the company and they will actually send you this case for free. 
and it's really awesome because the case is hard and it's way better than what we originally had them in um but then you can put your information and stuff on here we have not done that but that is an option what did i find ah look at this i don't even know what this is um chick-fil-a gift card children love chick-fil-a and you're back all right so then we'll do these two and then the side pockets all right so on this side, I keep my car keys. And this is a valet tag. But um, let me show y'all this. Because this is my new house key. Oh my gosh. And for anyone who says it, I am fully aware that this mess that I have is really bad for the key fobs. And I know that because this one is wearing out. Like, I've been having issues with that one, but that's okay. Um, but this is my new house key. I thought it was super cute, right? But now I'm happy, because now I have my old one. <laughs> but yeah, I just have some, you know, I have an amputee bear. I have an amputee bear that's uh, got the German flag on it that my husband got me. Um, I have Buzz Lightyear on here, because I like Buzz Lightyear. Um, oh, I have my little keychain from Alaska. That my husband got me. Um, and then I have this little keychain thing that says B-52 Strato Fortress on it, which is the plane that my husband and my children's father works on. I have Type R key, my Kia key, <laughs> and then the key to the WRX. I have no idea what this key is. I know everyone has a key like this where they have a key on their key ring that they have no idea where it goes to. I know I'm not the only one. So then in this little pocket, I have my daughter's sunglasses that she rarely ever wears. <laughs> All right, so now onto the side pockets. I like these side pockets on this bag because if you use Disposable wipes, you can put the little thing in here and then just like unzip this and like pull them out when you use them. But I don't I don't do that, so I just use them to store things. So I have some sunscreen. It's like a face mist. It's a face mist sunscreen from Ulta. I have a hairband. Some pen. If you ever need a pen. Hand sanitizer. That's it for that pocket. Let's see. Oh, bubbles. We carry bubbles in case the children get bored in public and I blow them bubbles in the store like a degenerate. Oh, sunscreen chapstick from Ulta. Um, you should totally wear, you know, lip protecting chapstick in the summertime. Um, then I have a spray. Spray hand sanitizer. <laughs> I got this when I worked at Century 21. That's why it said Century 21. So it was just when I worked there. Still have that. Charging brick, because I never have a charged phone. And then I have the cap to the spray and then I always have BC. If I'm without BC and I get a migraine, it's a bad day because BC seems to be the only thing that cures it. I have BC in the diaper bag. I have it in my glove box. I have it just stashed in random places. There's probably even some in my wallet. I just literally have them everywhere just in case. All right, so that is everything in my cloth diaper bag. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell before you go so you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Bye guys.